How you doing? This is Zach Allen, and we got another swing analysis here with uh, Mr. Tiger Woods and Roy McElroy. And uh, this is very interesting to look at. We're going to mostly concentrate on the downswing of these two gentlemen. And the thing that I really want to talk about is just uh, Tiger's history of being stuck. You know, for years now, he's complained of this sensation of getting stuck in the downswing. And uh, the way he describes it in most of his interviews that I've listened to is the club gets uh, traveling too much from the inside because his... Uh, his hips outrace his golf club in the downswing. And from there, his, uh, his hips and body turn have to stop, and he's got to flip his hands to get everything to catch up. And uh, the result of that is either a wide block to the right because his hands weren't fast enough, or uh, his hands were too fast, and the ball ends up actually going to the left. And, you know, the interesting thing here with Rory on the left here, the 18th hole at Augusta, and uh, Tiger Woods at Bay Hill, um, is if you were to do a poll here to who looks more stuck on the downswing. When we look at Rory coming into the hitting area, I mean, you can see that that club is traveling well from the inside, and uh, there's a lot of collision with his right arm and torso. Okay, And uh, very interesting, as you watch Rory go through the ball here, his hips don't just stop. They actually back up and go the other direction for a brief moment. Never seen that before in my entire life. Uh, you can see here how much the club is, is coming from the inside of the ball target line and um, as he comes through the hitting area you're gonna see that you watch that yardage book in his back pocket it doesn't just stop it actually backs up and goes the other direction okay so I mean just a lot of classic signs here of what Tiger has always described in terms of getting stuck but the funny thing is Rory McIlroy doesn't ever talk about that you know um, that sensation or feeling any of those sensations then we got Tiger here on the right here and uh, like I said, this is this year from Bay Hill. And you can see, boy, the club is really approaching on plane. Got his right arm. Got a lot of, lot of room there. Hips are only just slightly cleared. And uh, just a nice, nice release through the ball there with his hands, arms, and hips all working together in sync through the shot. Uh, so, you know, one would really venture to guess here, well, why is he still having so much trouble with this driver? Okay, why does it continue to to just miss fairways and, and hit spectators and, and all the other things. And what I think, I think it's definitely in the last year or two, it's not so much of a physical problem, you know, that can be corrected by mechanics uh, so much as it is a mental problem now. You know, I definitely think he's got the early stages of the driving yips. Uh, and a lot of famous players have had his old golf instructor, Hank Haney, had the driver yips. Uh, David Duvall has had them and uh, is still probably having bouts with them, and um, Ian Baker Finch. Uh, I remember watching Ian Baker Finch, um, the first hole at St. Andrews, actually hit it out of bounds over the 18th fairway, which if you know those two holes, they run side by side. He probably hit this ball 200 yards to the left of where he was aiming. Um, so I definitely think that's something that's very interesting to note here. You know, we've got one, you know, young man here, Ryan Roy McElroy, who, who, Definitely has a lot more of the, the common symptoms of what you would think would be getting stuck, but never talks about it, never complains about it, and continues to drive the ball, for the most part, pretty long and straight. And then you've got Tiger here, who really doesn't show that many of the symptoms any longer, but yet gets stuck all the time and continues to miss fairways right and left. Uh, so hopefully here we'll get this figured out with him and... Um, you know, in the next year or two, and he'll continue to move on and uh, maybe break some of Jack's records. Uh, but I don't think it's a physical problem anymore. All right, everybody have a great day.